I would say we are just about as ready as we're going to get. Today is the day, as promised, that we at the very least start to learn how to bow hunt here in Hunting Sim 2. And I've been out here at the target range trying to kind of figure out the site. And that's the range I think to focus on. It's about 25 meters. And when we aim just high with the fourth pin down, it's pretty accurate. And you can see the indicator in the top right there. Whichever ring turns red is the one that we hit in. And I'm not so sure we're ever going to get an animal this close. But it seems like the orange pin is like 10 meters. So I don't know what the top two are for. Maybe I am missing something. And if I am, feel free to let me know. But I think for the most part, we have a pretty good grasp on it. And somewhere in the area of 30 meters is going to be the range that we try to go for. And I've been messing with some stuff. I've got some new items. We're going to basically try it out. And actually, we're going to head into the Roosevelt Forest, which is a map we've kind of struggled on even to gun hunt, but I feel like it's got some of the most callable species. There are both whitetail and mule deer, elk, moose, and I think actually, despite the fact that there are predators we could call in, because we need to carry the rangefinder, that is going to be all we can actually call in. So that's going to be what we focus on, and we'll sort of see how we can do here. I'm not sure if I'm wasting my time. I think that bear is actually moving our direction now. I had some fresh black bear tracks, and I decided to kind of move towards them. You know what I'm going to do, just in case this works? I'm going to put on some scent eliminator. It only lasts a couple of minutes, unfortunately. But if somehow we can get in range of this bear, I'd love to try to take him out. It's just... I hear him. I don't know where he is. But, uh... It's so tough. Especially when you just can't see anything. I'm gonna go back prone and go back to this view. I don't know if he's just behind these trees. Like, it's also possible that he's spooked. But we don't have a collar for him, so it's only, like, up to the direction he decides to move in. As far as our odds, I guess he went that way. Although, it's coming our direction again. That's our guy. He actually kind of looks huge I'm not sure if that matters but I mean he's trying to sort of go this way I don't know how we're gonna get within 30 unless he just walks right to us and even still from there I'm not sure what we do and I would just kind of sit here and wait but because we can't call him who knows if he's gonna try to turn here so I think I do need to switch to this view so we have a chance at actually getting a shot off man I can hear the footsteps and everything we're not going to be able to shoot until he's real close. Okay. Uh, this was not the way this was meant to go. Just going to kind of scoot up here. See if we can. Was that a kill shot or not? It looked like it hit about where we wanted. I'm not sure if it was a red hit marker or not, though. I was too busy being shocked that we were that close. I truly don't know if that's going to kill him. Which is kind of terrifying, but I don't think bears are a threat in this game. I'm not sure anything is. So, I guess we'll see if Rocky can help us out here. Maybe we just did something? So, Rocky has just kind of stopped here. And it looks like the blood just goes straight down into the water. And it's a ton of blood. Like, I do think it was a good shot. I'm pretty sure the amount of blood does differ based on, like, the lethality. But you can see he kind of ran up here and turned around. And then, I'm pretty sure he ran straight into the water, and I don't know what happens when they do, so... I'm gonna try to go around it a bit, maybe see if I can look down into the water and see if he's there. It's gonna be... so disappointing, if that's what happened, but... Rocky's standing there as if that's where it went, and... I mean, maybe going out of, like, render, but render's so different in this game. I have no idea what to do. I swear we just killed a bear with a bow, and I don't know if we can get it. The best thing I can figure to try is basically to get as far away from that point as possible, and then go back and see if maybe the game wants to spawn them on dry land because of the water being there. Because I'm pretty sure animals aren't supposed to be able to do that, so maybe there's something to it. I fast traveled to the cabin, actually refilled on arrows, and left a waypoint back to the black bear, and we're pretty much going to get all the way down to the south border and hunt our way back and hopefully get to recover him because I went and looked that absolutely was a kill shot and I'm 
quite certain the bear is dead in the water. Just hopefully this is a way of actually getting it. I haven't even called yet, and I think we might have to make this our spot here. There's a bull elk walk in our way, and to be honest, I don't know. It might be better to not call, because then he's not going to be necessarily walking straight at us. We'll sort of see what he does. He's not a bad size. I don't think he's huge. But if he keeps moving that way, we have a decent little opening here, although it almost seemed like he was turning. That makes me not want to change the camera yet, just because we can sort of use this third-person camera with the higher view as a way of seeing better. This is going to be interesting. Okay. Well, that went a lot better than the bear. And I'm glad we got something for our trouble. It was just a young elk, but a hard shot at seven meters. Interesting way to get our technically first bow kill. We'll get Rocky to join us. We're actually almost to the place where we shot the bear originally. So nice to get something for our trouble running all that way. But... I mean, yeah, you can see the lake up there. Hopefully it's going to be there, but nice of that elk to choose that particular path. And yet again, it seems our path is going to cross with something that we have not called in. I actually don't know that there is a turkey call, oddly enough, but this gobbler is moving our direction. He's pretty much in range already, but if he's going to stay calm, I'll let him get a little closer. Let's actually switch to the better view, because we didn't get to do that for the elk, really. Somewhere in there should be fine. I think we want to aim sort of like that. Seems that was allowed. I actually wasn't sure, and I don't even know where we hit it, but it was a mature gobbler. So I guess that's a good sign we do have one. But that would have been from back when, like, the records weren't being kept. So I guess we probably should tax that one just so we have the proper records of it anyway. It does look like, despite all of the effort we went through to get super far away, we're not going to be able to claim our black bear today, and that's super unfortunate because I was really proud of like that stock and the shot and everything, and we're just not going to get to know what we got. Now, oddly enough, right over here somewhere were fresh black bear tracks. I don't assume it's from the same bear, but I kind of thought this is where I followed the other one, so it might be. Why it would still say fresh, I have no idea. But we'll sort of go this way and maybe we can get a chance at another bear yet. He's still pretty well hidden, but we do actually have a white-tailed buck coming in. And I'm getting pretty convinced that the black bear tracks are from the one that we shot. They might say fresh because he hasn't left any more tracks since we shot him. Why is 45 meters away... That buck just spooked. I mean, we had an elk walk up to us at 7. The turkey was no big deal either. Would it be because we are calling them in? Because that's been my experience any time that we have called anything in for rifle hunting as well. Like, I've got Scent Eliminator on. Rocky's back there staying. I can't imagine why it would have taken off, but I guess we can finish tracking this. It looked like it was looping around right here, which is exactly what the one that we shot did. Although... It kind of continues forward, maybe not. Actually, yeah, right here's where it turned. And then it sort of went down this way and went down along the water's edge. And that's where we got our shot. I really wish we could claim that, but I think at this point, especially since the deer that we just called in spooked off and we never did get to see him, we might just go back, claim our turkey and elk, mount the turkey, and then maybe try another map. I think we might be onto something here. We've got two pronghorn kind of moving this direction. I can't spot the back one. They're too far away to even see their horns right now, but this is why I wanted to go to the Chihuahuan Desert. You can kind of get up on just like a decently high point, and it's so flat you can scan around and spot just like everything in the area. And my thought process was basically try to find animals walking this direction and attempt to cut them off. So. If these guys keep going the way they're going, it should be doable to get in bow range. There's almost no way we aren't going to be taking a frontal shot here, but I'm going to let him get to about like 28. And then I think we're going to go ahead and try this. I don't want him to get too close. So it should be... I think we just shot under him. 
I don't know how he didn't hear that. That was a better hit. You know, I'm starting to think bow hunting might be a little bit OP in this game. We just killed them both and the first shot completely missed. So it must be just about silent. That was an adult with a heart shot. And then this was probably the same adult with a lung shot. Now I was actually watching a couple of mule deer. I'd love to go and get them. They're somewhere off in this general direction, I think over this hill. But if we can do that and just not have to worry about calling, I don't love that like a miss shot does nothing, but this might not be as difficult as I thought. I'm sure it's obvious already, but we've changed maps and I actually wanted to change the time and I just got this idea that trying to take a bison with a bow might be kind of interesting and we've got one out here in the Bandera region of Texas. Now, of all days to do a bow hunt, of course I would choose the day where I had to take my bow in real life to the shop. So since I had to do that, I thought we'd switch maps and that's sort of where I got this idea to try to take the bison. So we'll see if we can maybe get in there to bow range and really I have no idea, maybe a headshot would be best. We'll kind of see what ends up presenting itself, but right now he is moving this way so we might be able to manage. Man, unfortunately, I think we just barely misjudged our angle. We might be able to get into range still. I can see he's kind of getting that yellowish tint to his icon there, so he sort of knows we're here. I mean, 43. If we could get him to stop and like stare at us, because sometimes the alerted animals do, we might be able to try that. I mean, it looks so close, especially on an animal that big, but we've seen the bow be already kind of finicky. I think we're gonna go ahead and get it ready. He's getting pretty yellow, so he should stop. It's just, where is he gonna stop and can we get a decent shot at him? There's no way at that range I wanna try to like lead him. And naturally we're just kinda dealing with the brush. I mean, we're at 50 now. What if we, yeah, that kinda did what I wanted, I think. Sometimes the icons kind of like stop but the animal hasn't stopped. Oh, he's turning our way. Okay, maybe. There might be something to this. I'm not sure the range. I'm guessing it's somewhere in like that 30 area. Oh, he's closer than that. Okay. I think that was a kill shot. That was not the way that was meant to go. Of all the species where a miss shot makes sense, it was shooting over a bison. But he's going to run for probably forever, so might just kind of hang around and let Rocky help us out here. Oh, actually... I just saw him go down right there, so not bad. It may have been back at the lungs then. Like, I've seen... I'm pretty sure we were using the 30-odd six at least for some amount of time. I can't remember if we did switch calibers. But, like a... Maybe even single lung shot. I've seen them run pretty far. So that was not a bad deal. And, I mean, I still like the way that the bear situation went better. That miss was kind of unfortunate, but... I really didn't want him to actually end up spooking once he did turn our way. It was pretty cool to actually get to take one down, and I'd rather do it that way with the lung shot than what I said about maybe trying to headshot. I just figured it would run for much longer than it did. So, I think regardless of what the scores we're going to put it on our wall, it is an adult, and it was a lung shot, 28 meters, right about where I was hoping it would be. I'm surprised that shot went so far over it then. I don't know. What if we use, I hate to use it up, but if we use the wind spray, I'm not sure if it indicates the direction of the wind at all. It might have been kind of like pushing the arrow forward. Hard to say, but I think at this point we are going to head back and we are going to put that bison on the wall. Just if for no other reason, the fact that we did kill it with the bow. And I mean, 12 years old, I don't know how old a bison would get, but it doesn't seem to be too bad. And I'm pretty sure that is going to be the centerpiece for our lodge, and it is. Now, I've seen the legendary bison, and it is one that I would love to get. I really just want to get one legendary, and the bison has like a completely white head. So, it would look really neat up there on the wall, and it might have been why it was done that way, but it's nice to have like a proper lodge centerpiece, and like I said, cool to get it with the bow, and I would say there's still some to learn, but it feels like if we could find a legendary animal, and if we had either the color or like a direction that's favorable, I think we might be able to take it out with the bow. So I'm looking forward to trying that hopefully next week. But anyway, 
that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.